Hi, I'm Kelly of Craft and More Blog and Creative Catalyst Productions. Today I'm going to show you how to do some mixed media Christmas crafts. Let's get started. Now we're going to make some fun acrylic envelopes. What you'll need for this, blank envelopes, an assortment of acrylic paints, random things to make textures, bubble wrap, punchinella, I have some stencils. Let's get started. I'm working on a piece of newspaper and I'm literally just putting paint down. I'm using makeup sponges and I'm just going to dot across my paper. What's fun about these envelopes is don't think about it. Don't overthink it. Just play. You can use all the random texturing techniques you've learned in your cloth paper scissors. Maybe you don't want to make a whole collage. So instead, you play with an envelope. I've covered the envelope. Now I'm going to pat a gray. I'm going to take one of my stencils. I'm going to lay it down. With that same sponge, Gray is pretty transparent. So I'm going to have to do a thick layer. I like to do a bunch of these at one time. So when one's drying, I'm working on the next one. And it literally is just allowing myself to play. Which in art, it's nice to have those once in a while. Now we're going to lift it off. Pretty cool. Now when that dries, I'm going to show you on a different envelope. What we're going to do is flip it over, cut a piece of paper in half, slide it in, same sponge, doesn't have to match perfectly. And this is why you have the paper, so you don't have to worry about edges. And if you want to repeat the pattern, again, lay down the stencil. Use a smaller one or a different one completely. It's all about playing. Voila. So there you go, a fun envelope that can be done within minutes. Now we're going to make a decorative envelope. Here's what you'll need. Wrapping paper, double stick tape, an envelope to make a template, cardboard, also for the template, and scissors. Let's get started. I really like these envelopes. I like the shape, I like the size. So I'm going to use it as my template. First, I'm going to open it completely up. and then draw a template. Once you have a cardboard template, you can use it over and over and over again. So now that I have this cut out, I'm going to fold it back together. So now with your double stick tape, and cut them down ever so slightly. And put one at the top that's regular size. As it comes down, it narrows. Put the thinner piece. Same on the other side. Fold it up. Make sure none of the tape went over the edge is going to stick down in. And there you have your envelope. What's great about this project is you can personalize your envelopes to match the cards inside or the gifts. Thanks for crafting with me today. Go to ccpvideos.com and search Kelly Powers to find templates of the projects we did today and more tutorials. Thanks. Mm -hmm.